good to see you again. We talked to you earlier this year. It feels like a long time ago. I was like, when was that? Like last May? Uh, but no, it was, it was in March. <laughs> it was weird. I have I have no concept of time for the last few years. So. <laughs> no, yeah. I might like try to like give people like a timeline. I always forget like two years because like, because of COVID. So I like completely block that out of my memory. Um, yeah. So I just, time flies so much, like so fast. So I, yeah, I can't. <laughs> yeah, things were, things were that in 2019 were like, that was last year, right? But no, it's good to see you again. Thanks for jumping on with us. It's been a big few weeks for you, right? Your new EP is out. What's the last few weeks been like? Um, crazy and exciting. Um, it's just like super cool, you know, working on something um, and like pouring your heart and soul out on like a project and then it now being like released to the world. And um, I'm just getting such a beautiful response and it just makes me so happy. Like I, I love when people enjoy or like relate uh, to me and my music. So I feel like we're all just like making each other like feel like we're not alone. And um, so it's just it's just a really cool feeling. And this past few weeks have been amazing. Have you been like busy and swamped or once it comes out, are you kind of just like you take a deep breath and <laughs> you can relax a little bit? Like, I wish there's like a moment where I can like have like a week where I can like digest and not have to worry about all the work stuff. But I mean, like it literally up until like release day, like I am working and then it's after it's even more and um it's there's a lot of things that are uh coming in that I'm really excited about and I like haven't even stopped making anything I feel like as soon as um my EP was done I started working on my album and I've been doing that ever since too so it's a lot <laughs> kind of on to the next thing once it's once it's out well the uh EP is called Pretty Poison do you want to tell us a little bit about it of course we're playing um I hope you're miserable until you're dead which we love so do you want to kind of tell us about the EP a little bit? So uh, my EP Pretty Poison is basically my life into songs um, and specifically my life uh, from when I moved to LA and started my uh, music career up until now. Um, and, you know, when coming from like a small town like New Jersey uh, all the way to LA, like by yourself, as like a young, like 16, 17 year old girl. It's hard. And, um, you know, you make a lot of friends, you lose a lot of friends, you go through uh, pretty shitty situations and you kind of learn how to get through it and I feel like I've dealt with a lot of you know relationship stuff and uh my mental health and even like dealing with like me now being in the public eye like, there's a lot of things that are different with my life and so I just like kind of wrote about every aspect and um that's kind of how Pretty Poison came out. I love the whole EP it's very dark um but when you kind of I think with the literal like song titles right um, but once you dive into them, um, a lot of them are like love songs. Am I right? D is that? Okay. Oh, exactly. And I love that you said that, though, because like, you know, I've never really written a love song before. You know, they've always like turned like into breakup songs because like in the moment, that's really what I was like going through, like as like bad love. But, uh, you know, I still kind of wanted to keep like my dark, like edgy vibe and like the moodiness of it while making a love song for my EP. And so we kind of put like dark twists on them that way like if I feel like a lot of people would be like oh my god this is the most toxic love ever and I like I'm telling I always talk to my producer I'm like we make every song sound like the most extreme and like toxic way that it possibly can be but it really is just like a love song about like how like pure my love is for someone and mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't seem like that but I think it's cool like if you like really dive into it you can mm -hmm. tell yeah, you kind of have to go deep. And the video for I Want to Die is very, like, literal, right? So so where did the concept for that video come from? Um, yeah, so I basically, uh, I take a lot of, like, movies, like, my favorite movies and um, just a bunch of 
things as like inspiration and there's this one movie called death becomes her and uh actually i'm gonna like end up titling my first album death becomes her so i'm like super excited about that but like when it came to like the potion like i got that like the whole like pretty poison thing like i got the aesthetic from that movie and i thought it'd be like a cool like tease to like my album and in it uh the husband is a mortician and like paints like their bodies like when they're decaying and i just loved it and i was like how can we make a video that's kind of like eerie but like also has that like romantic like tension in it and i mean nothing weirder than like you know mortician falling in love with the dead person yeah. uh, while like painting her so i thought that was kind of cool and it's kind of funny when i see um a lot of like conspiracies like about like what my videos mean but like for I want to die, it was just very literal. Like he really was just like, you know, preparing me for my funeral. And um, that that's really all it was. And they're like, oh, like she, she was dead. And then he like brought her back to life. And I'm like, no, <laughs> the- <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. You know, go do whatever you want. See it however you want. It's fine. <laughs> but I fun to take it in like a literal thing. I mean, it's a love song called I Want to Die. So um, could really go anywhere with that. <laughs> How much influence do you have visually, like in the visual aspects of it, like your videos and stuff? Do you do most of it? Does a lot of it come from you? Yeah, I mean, um, for Pretty Poison, like these were uh, all of the videos that came out of that um, were my first ones that I got to Creative Direct. So I was uh, on Zooms with um, the team that was behind it and then the directors and I told them exactly what I wanted and laid out like, you know, like what camera angles I wanted and every shot and scene and um, even the design of the set. Um, So I was like very heavily involved in this and I feel like I kind of had to be just because, you know, these songs are so personal um, and going any like crazy creative route uh, would be kind of like off putting for like my soul in a way just because of how personal these songs are. So um, yeah, I creative directed uh, all of it really. Is that something that you've wanted to do for a long time Um, is, you know, do a lot of that kind of stuff? No, yeah, I mean, I, um, as well as like writing songs, I've always wrote stories. Um, I was very big uh, in writing. I like even like have like half of a book that I wrote myself. Um, And so, and I always kind of wanted to make like horror movies uh, myself. So I think like when I get to put like my little spin on it, like on my music videos, like it makes me kind of satisfied, you know, Um, not making whole fucking like scary movie but it's a scary music video so it'll count uh but yeah I just love that stuff I love I love it like it's October we're really big like Halloween fans and scary spooky season fans are you the same way do you like do you like Halloween time yeah my favorite, my favorite I'm like so excited I literally count down the days everyone's count down the days for Christmas I count down the days for Halloween uh, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> since it's uh Halloween is on a weekend here at work, we're doing a spirit week when we did it last year since we couldn't really do much. Oh my God, for Halloween. And so we just pick a different like type of costume to dress as each day of the week. So we have like superhero day, rock star day. Um, we did, we did a Schitt's Creek day last year. It was amazing. Um, so yeah, same. <laughs> we love Halloween. <laughs> I appreciate you talking to us. The new EP is out. And then next is, of course, live shows. Um, what are you what are you most excited? Because this is kind of the new part to you, right? Yeah, I mean, I started during COVID, so I never got a chance to like get in front of people and perform. Um, I'm just excited to see uh, all of the beautiful people that support me, really. Um, and, you know, there's uh, no better experience and like connection than like, you know, being at a live show um, with so many people that like love and listen to my music and like enjoy that moment together and I'm really excited to um just be there with everyone and I kind of think it's gonna be a little interesting you know performing like these very personal songs that I'm like what happens if I cry because I know I cry for some of these but um I I think it's gonna be fun and people will definitely be singing along to you I mean that's my favorite thing about shows is just how many people are there singing along and it always blows my mind like um 
you know, artists can go to 50 states and there's this whole group of people in each place that are there to see them. Like, it's so special and I'm excited for you to experience that. Yeah, I'm so excited. I think it's like in like a month now and that's like crazy. I'm like, I thought so you were brought out on stage at Lollapalooza, right? Yes. Um, so what was that like to hear the crowd kind of go nuts when you came out? That was that was crazy. Um, it was I don't know. It was insane. I mean, there's probably like forty thousand people, but I I don't know. I feel like it's always like different, and like it goes by like this, especially when I'm only going out for like one song, and um, so that's why I'm like also really excited to perform uh for my shows, just because I'm like curious to see the reactions for like all my other music, you know, um, and like my new stuff. But um, yeah, I mean, people love La Dida, and that and that's always like fun to do, and like they go crazy. And especially like when like me and Jaden are on stage together, obviously they're like, oh, a couple little stuff. Yeah, we love it. But <laughs> And speaking of Lottie Di, I wanted to ask you about, like I said, it was just six months ago. I swear I thought we talked to you like last May. And I, I looked it up and it was in our date said March. And I was like, there's no way. But um, not only because I have no concept of time, but it seems like you've just done so much since then. So between Lottie Di and now um in what ways do you think you've grown as an artist um you know i just think that every day that i'm working on my music or any part of my um or anything really i just gain like a new confidence and um i feel like recently i've really found you know my voice and my sound and uh you know what vibe and direction i want to be in and it's it's really just like a confidence thing like you know knowing what like I want and uh you know how I want my music to turn out is like a really good feeling because like you know like you're always satisfied when like you know exactly what you want because you're gonna get it and um but yeah I just feel like my confidence has just grown a lot since then I know I think Lottie and I was like the first song that I made that like I actually liked that came out and then like doing the EP and all that was just so fun. So yeah, it's just like a huge confidence thing that I had to go through and I'm here now. <laughs> I was, yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> Is that a dog? Yeah. Yeah. I can't tell you how many um, Zoom interviews I've had crashed by pets and I love it every single time. Well, I appreciate you taking time. Of course, we're playing. I hope you're miserable until you're dead. I think people really like it. We always look forward to getting new stuff from you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was so awesome talking to you. You too. Maybe see you again in like six months. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>